Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Manufactio. I upload a new episode of Modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Smash like if you feel I earned it and also consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. All right, my guys. It's Wednesday, and today what we're going to be working on is hardened stone. Uh, everything that our factory is creating so far is running perfectly, except for hardened stone. We need to get a way to automate it. So last episode what we did was we set up a pump jack from Immersive Engineering to gather oil. So now we're refining oil in a much more efficient way. As you can see, sulfuric acid is coming in strong. We're doing really good. Over here, I already started working on uh, setting up. This is where we put the pump jack down for the lava. The other node that has lava is right over here. So I'm extending this area to be lava. And the way that we're going to be making the uh, hardened stone from now on is with this item, the Cobble Gen 5000. This guy is not in the quest book, but it is super simple to set up, and uh, we honestly, we haven't really needed it until right now. So this guy's gonna go down first, uh, after we set up our sheet metal tanks for storage and power for the lava. So I did that already, I got this ready there we go sheet metal tank hopefully i have enough iron sheet metal for four of these guys one two three ah oh, perfect four okay so that's our sheet metal tanks that we need let's grab our hammer we can ping these guys boop 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 and boop and of course the one item that i forgot to make was the uh, fluid router. So we need to make three fluid routers and then we need to run the uh, the pipe from this pump jack to the fluid routers over here. Let's go. So now we can set the fluid routers and what's great is we figured out how to uh, drag and drop the uh, the filter from JEI. So let's see if that'll work for, should work for lava. It worked for sulfuric acid. So top is going to be lava. There we go, yeah, cool. Top is gonna be lava. Again, and top is lava. Cool, so there we go. Let's start running this pipe, boom, boom. Right here, right there, and right here. And then from here, let's come down here. We'll put one here. Boom, boom. All right, and let's go straight line. One down. Like this. And into the bottom. Oops. Shift click. And that should uh, put all of the lava inside of the units. Alright, is that the last one? That is the last one. So let's power this guy and make sure that it's running before we move on to the next part. We need one of these and one of these. Here and let's see. Mm, here looks fine. Oh. And it's pumping. And let's grab a bucket. There we go. Lava. Yeah, you can see the really tiny sliver of orange appearing. Cool. Lava. So now we are pumping and storing the lava. The next thing that we're going to do 
is set up where it's going to go first, which is going to be the Cobble Gen 5000. This guy doesn't have a blueprint, but it does look extremely simple to put together. Let's see. What's the... Oh, there's nothing in the middle. Okay. So I set this up here. Let's do placeholder in the middle, and then the machine controller right here. Now we can get rid of this guy. All right. And cobble gen. And shift click. There we go. It's not a blueprint that we really needed to, to set down. It's quicker just to look. Okay, so the item input is behind the output and the two fluids. Okay. So input comes in from behind. Right there. Then we need the two fluids come in the left and in the right. We have the output in the front. Like that. Oop, that's the wrong one. Output, tiny item output. There we go. And then the tiny energy back here. Oh, nice. That is, that is not the color I was expecting the cobble gem to be. Okay, that's too funny. Okay, so let's see. We need uh, cobblestone. So we click on it, cobble gem 5000. Oh, okay, it needs an iron pick. And I'm not sure, like it says iron pick. I wonder if it works faster if you put in a diamond pick. Let's try a diamond pick, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So we need water and we need lava in these guys. One of them we can pump water in directly, so I want the closer one of the two to be the lava. Oh, is it even that I can put it in a straight line? Ah, uh, by, <laughs> by one block, of course. I wasn't thinking about uh, lining this guy up in a straight line. That's okay. Let's go. We need pipe. And I've already cut the bottom out here, so it'll give me a little bit more room. There we go. This is going to be the input. And let's go this way. We can poke a hole in the middle of all of these guys. There. All right. Like that. And we'll go this way. Whoops. There we go. Whoa, there we go. And I guess what I could do item output. I don't think that the pipes are going to care. We could go up this way. It'll be a straight line this way. Put you back. We have enough factory blocks. All right, and this we can go. Pipe. Boop. And now I need a new way out. So I shouldn't have put those two here. There we go. Like that. And this guy should have lava. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, let's see. I kind of want to do... I don't want to put the pump up top. Or actually, yeah, I should put the pump up top. Because uh, the power is going to be running. Alright, so we're gonna go down here and let's see, we're gonna make the water source under this guy. So let's go ahead and grab some factory block. Alright, the pump is gonna be here, the water is going to be... It's 
going to be an infinite water source sitting on top. Like that. Grab our buckets. Right there. Right here. And then refill them. There we go. We have our fluid pump. We're gonna put this guy right here on the side, which conveniently covers up the water as well. And then let's see. I always forget this. One right click is input. The bottom is always set defaulted to input. Two right clicks is output, so shift, right click, right click. Now it's set to output water into this guy. We need another two MV connectors. One, two, and cable. There we go. And you can, is there a better way? Nah, we'll go this way. And boop. And of course, this guy needs a lever too. And should we put the lever? We'll put it here. All right, we got water. Missing input items. So here we go. We can try out a diamond pick. If it doesn't work, we can use a diamond pick. Yep, it's working with a diamond pick. So not 100% sure if it's faster with a diamond pick or faster with a. Or, or if it doesn't matter, but I'll keep the diamond pick in there now that we made it. So this guy is now creating obsidian. Okay, that's not what I want. Oh, oh, also I'm wasting a lot. Okay, so no diamond pick. It has to be an iron pick for cobble. Diamond, <laughs> the diamond pick makes obsidian. Okay, so that's something I just learned. That's pretty cool. I think we're going to need obsidian later. And now we figured out, by accident, how to make obsidian. Okay, cool. So this is what we needed. We needed cobblestone. Uh, let's go ahead and seal this guy here. Uh, boop, like this. And do we have any steel scaffolding? I'll do that later. That way we can put a steel scaffolding in here and it'll be flush. Factory block, like that. This guy's up and running. That was a hole I fell into. Let's go. Like that. We're gonna continue on this direction. I'm falling into this one tonight. We're gonna continue this direction. We'll grab an inserter. And the inserter is going to take the copper here out. And I'm gonna whitelist it for right now. Let's see. The chisel has factory block in it. Great. We are going to keep going. Um, let's see. We need another three, and then a fourth one for to, for it to be a row. And this is like painting because it's factory block. I can change this later if I make a mistake. That is going to go into the other blueprint. I already have one ready. Electric furnace. So let's see, that does not look like it's that way, right? It, I think it's the preheater goes in the back, right? Yes. So here is the input, and then here is the output. Perfect. And let's see, what do I miss? Oh, great, I have everything. I did the math right, guys, for once. I have everything uh, for the second electric furnace, so I'm not gonna have to cut. Cool. And we need another inserter. This will spit out, what's it called? The uh, stone. And let's grab our building gadget and scoot this guy up. All right. And let's see, what is it selected to? Perfect. It needs to see the item. There we go. And we'll extend this like this. Okay, let's go. We need another one, two, three for the unit, and then like this. 
perfect. And our other electric furnace. Nope. There we go. And I'll put you here. Sweet. Item input, and then this will be item output. We need another inserter right here. And this should be our exit points where we are going to get a whole bunch of hardened stone. So let's go ahead and we need power for these two guys. And then we need a bin. So let's grab that stuff real quick. All right, so I ran one power line over here real quick because I figured out it wasn't going to reach. So let's go ahead and power, 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 power. All right, and then from here, we can wrap it around. No, I don't want that guy. This. And then from here, we're going to go this way. All right, let me grab my wire cutters. There we go. And snip. I want this guy. Alright, so one more cable. Like this. And like this. There we go. So now these four unit or these two units, four power sources have it as well. This guy we can set to right. You're gonna put you in there, and hardened stone. There we go. Boom. Look at that. All right. So we've taken care of the lava, the water. Cobble Gen is making us cobblestone going into a, an electric furnace, which is going to get speed and efficiency upgrades later. Turning into stone, turning into hardened stone. There we go. We have all of our hardened stone. Lava's coming in fast. The thing that I didn't think of, which I definitely should have, because this is Manufactio, uh, all three of these machines are making carbon. Uh, and sulfur. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to move this down into the ground and make a, uh, a flower area above this so that it, uh, uh, it'll take care of the carbon. But you guys can see uh, how this is working uh, next time, next episode. This is just going to end up being underground. Bummer. Uh, but what we're going to do for the rest of the episode is we're going to move our tech gun stuff over here as well. Okay, an alien bug swarm has been detected. And it's pretty funny because I was about to start with this. Let's see. Chemical laboratory. Uh, I was about to start talking. Okay. And, and then we got the notification. There we go. I made a second chemical laboratory. I wanted one of them to be water and the other one to be lava. And uh, I went ahead and I picked up the metal press and the charging station. All of the tech gun stuff I picked it up. Uh, I was not expecting this. Okay. Wow.
The invasion has ended. We did good. And I believe we got a quest reward. Okay, so I went ahead and I grabbed the uh, blaze powder that we have. This is all we have, 22. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to go farm some manually from the end, or not the end, I'm sorry, from the nether. Uh, maybe set up a blaze farm over there, uh, unless I figure out a way to move the blaze spawner to here, to the overworld. What I'm gonna do is, let's see, I should be able to run a pipe like this from the water. So we're gonna output water from here as well. Let's go ahead and go down here. Water is gonna come up here. Why is that? Okay, connected. Let's see, we should be able to run this pipe, which is water, this way. And then let's also go down. Let's see, one more. And then we'll run this way for the water. All right, and then down. So let's just uh, just go straight down. There we go. Straight down and across. Oop, there's a nook in the way. All right, let's put this back. F7. Right there. Get rid of the extra one here. There and there. Okay. There's another space right here. Let's go ahead and grab another nook. And put it into the corner here. We're also going to be running the lava. And I know it doesn't really matter which one we pull from, the input or the output pipe. But I'm going to keep things uniform, and we're going to pull from the uh, output pipe. So this will be our lava. Right here. Alright. So everything goes into the sheet metal tanks first. Then it, everything that needs the lava pulls from the sheet metal tanks. That way, if uh, the pump jack runs out of uh, lava, the machines attached to the input won't be out as well. Oof, I'm gonna turn that off. All right, so let's see, we can plug this hole here, like that. We should be able to take steel scaffolding now, and let's go here. Okay, and here. All right, and let's test this out. We have two chemical laboratories. The water one's gonna be over here. Yep, it's filling with water and it's full, cool. And then this one should be lava. Yep, filling with lava and it's full, perfect, I like it. And now I need to figure out, do I like it sitting up on pipe like this? For now, it kind of looks kind of cool. Let's go. I want to do the metal press next. Here, ammo press, and the charging station. Like that. So that's what? Five units? We have four cable. All right, so let's go. One more. Oop, I'm running out of MV connectors. And, the, yeah, let's do the top. Boop, boop, boop. You. And, there we go. Let's see. You have lava. This is all of our blaze powder weapons. You can start making us some more carbon fibers. Use. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. We have armor. New armor we can make. We definitely should upgrade our armor. Now that 
damage to that. We also have a metal press. Stack split off. Yep. The ammo press. Let's default this to rifle rounds for right now. And the charging station, of course. This guy has water in it for when we need a chemical laboratory with water. Alright, let me see. Oh yeah, I wanted to upgrade the chainsaw. Mechanical parts carbon. Uh, requires blaze rods, okay. So I need at least two blaze rods to upgrade the chainsaw. The obsidian steel plates we have. So let's see, we should unlock some stuff. Now that we have a little bit of tech guns going on. Let's check the quest book and unlock some military stuff. And yeah, during that last invasion, uh, the mobs decided to steal some of my planks. So let's see, what are we going to unlock today? Let's go military. Okay. Advanced combat armor. Let's do that. One, two. One, two. Alright, we'll unlock the advanced combat armor. Let's see, power armor. Exosuit. These all require power cells. Mob mashing. I don't need a, a mob farm. I wish we could get blazes through this. So maybe I can set up this mob masher around a blaze spawner in the nether. I believe we, if we tag it with a chunk loader, it should uh, keep that one loaded, even though we're in a different dimension. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and grab the scar. Alright, we got the scar and we have the guided missile launcher. Let's see. And two. Military. Three military. Let's drop this off. There we go, guided missile launcher. And we did get some exotic stuff, right? Yeah, bio gun. Ooh, we got a new pedestal, cool. Two, three. Let's see, the bio gun. The AS-50 sniper rifle. And the nether blaster. Let's unlock those three as well. Let's see, science, military. Here we go, we unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. And let's check this out. AS-50 sniper rifle, okay. So let's head back to uh, our main area over here. And let's grab our obsidian steel that we have we can start working on this advanced combat armor. I really want this. And uh, we can goof around. Let's see, gun stock, receivers, pump mechanism, pistons, iron nuggets, piston, iron, Hardened receiver is going to be mechanical parts. We do have those. Obsidian. And grab these. We need steel. There we go. We need one diamond. We need plastic. Alright, let's make a plastic gun stock. Where'd I go? The scar. We need the hardened receiver. And a hardened barrel. 
And what else am I missing? I'm missing any block glass hardened. Okay, so we're gonna have to run one through the uh, alloy kiln. There we go. Drop off the military research while we're here. Let's go. We need one diamond. go. Is that everything we need for the scar? We are missing an assault rifle magazine. Let's see, did I stash any in here? Rifle? Yeah. Let's grab these rounds as well. All right, and scar. Oop. And scar. Cool, now we have the scar rifle. Let's see, this dude also has a scope on it. Is there... Could have sworn there's two. Let's see. So there we have, we have the scar. We can do a test run on the scar as well. The bio gun. Let's check this guy out. Needs a pump mechanism. Glass. Grab the glass that we have here. Bio gun. Pump mechanism. The iron nuggets. All right. Pump mechanism. We can also make an empty bio tank requires the uh, steel nuggets. Let's see, bio gun, bio tank, okay. And let's see, we need a steel receiver and we need plastic gun stock. Steel, we don't have any steel receivers. Requires steel ingots, mechanical parts, iron. We have any mechanical parts? Yeah, we do. We have a mechanical parts, iron. We need steel ingots. There we go. Steel receiver. Another gun stock. And bio gun. Cool. So this guy, we're gonna have to make at least one more of these tanks. So we need glass. And let's see, this should work. There we go. Let's go ahead and make two. Now oh, we're out of steel. Let's go. There we go. Another empty bio tank. And then use on this guy chemical laboratory, biofuel, and water. So that's pretty cool. We just made this guy work. So let's go. Stack of this. Let's head over to our main shop guns area real quick. And here we go, water. So we'll go bio tank. And there we go. Where is the biofuel? There it is. It is the chemical laboratory, right? Chemical laboratory, biotank. Do we need to unlock something? Biotank empty. Use, chemical laboratory. Water. Power. Biofuel. Biotank. Down. Hmm. Oh, there you go. That's weird. So we had to put the biofuel in first 
or else it wasn't going to register the tanks. That's weird. But it works. Bio tank. Let's go. Let's test the this guy out on something else. Let's see. Maybe nighttime. I'll cut to nighttime. Let's make all of the weapons. Bio tanks, bio gun, and a scar. And let's make this armor. So we need carbon plates. Let's see if I had any extra carbon. We have one more carbon fiber, two more carbon plates. And that looks good. Alright, we have 22 and 23. So let's make our new set of armor. Advanced combat, helmet, chest piece. We have the leggings. And we have the boots. Perfect. And holding down shift, we have movement speed and we have knock down, knockback resistance. Pretty cool. And all of the stats are going to be better than we're, what we're wearing right now. Let's get rid of this. Put this on. Nice. Looking pretty snazzy. The uh, filter is still clipping pretty hardcore. There we go. Whoop. Looks like my guy has a little bit of a hop in his step, I like it. And then of course the back with the jetpack. Looking awesome. There we go. Looking good. We have sunset coming, so we can test out the scar that we made and the bio gun that we made. I'm kind of curious to see how good these guys are. I think the scar is going to be good uh, since it has a sniper on it. Let's see what the range is on these guys. The bio gun, what it looks like is uh, it's going to be really cheap to make ammunition since we have so much biofuel. All it is is water and biofuel. Alright. go. Ooh, it sounds nice when it fires. Shoots a little bit slower, but it does feel nice. Let's head over here. The uh, pollution pump has finally, after maybe two or three days of uh, switching out filters, has cleaned out the, the, this dirty chunk over here. Whoa. Did they did the witch throw something or did a creeper throw something?
so if you guys have noticed, uh, I've been uploading a couple of short episodes demonstrating the tech guns. Uh, this is the mob farm uh, for the aliens that we have over here. So let's go ahead and let me reload this guy. This is where I've been testing the uh, tech guns out. Let's go ahead and seal this guy again so nothing slips in from behind. And we can test out the scar. Nice. This way we can also start uh, working towards getting uh, another area. I like it, but the minigun is faster. Let's test out the, uh, the bio guns. I feel like I'm shooting out of the it has a knockback effect. What do you guys think? Is it splash at least? <laughs> it's fun. But I think I'm gonna be out. Okay, yeah, I have one more. It deals, it does not deal enough damage. <laughs> it's a fun gun. It feels like a fire particles, and like I said, the uh, the perk of it is that the ammunition. Is so I'll probably record some uh, some more shorts here and call the episode on the new armor set. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and also. Click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. I left some videos here for you that I think you might like, but I'm not sure if the buttons work. Could you check and let me know? Do it.